So here we are at Barfield. It is Rangers second team playing Hunslet Club Reserves. Uh, they are a very good team. We had a two-all draw with them at the beginning of the season. We know that they will be hard. We know that they will be fast. They're fourth in the league um, and doing well. So they're also looking for points to try and maintain their high position, but we're looking for points to try and stay in this league. So it's got all the markings of a really good match. Um, Weather-wise, it's a bit of a mixed bag. We've got some grey clouds, we've got some blue sky. Peach has dried out a bit when I first came. It was very wet underneath, but it's dried out a bit. So hopefully it should be a good game. I'll see you all at half time. So if you guess that those boots belong to the one and only James Flynn, you'll be absolutely right. <laughs> He's with me now. Yeah. Go on then James, so why Nike boots? Uh, don't really have a particular reason to be fair, just just like the boots when I saw them. So, <laughs> yeah, so I just got them and they've, they've done alright for me so... So, yeah. What you can't see is they've got a massive hole in them as well. Yeah, so I have yeah, a sneaky suspicion that, that uh, these won't be the ones he starts in. But yeah, fair, I know, yeah. Obviously, well done. The other ones are mouldy, so I might have to. <laughs> um, yeah, a bit slick out there today. So, yeah. yeah, it does look a bit wet, doesn't it? It's a bit of a bizarre weather one. It's gorgeously sunny and the pitch is absolutely soaking. Yeah, so Nice and zippy. Yeah, so what we'll do is we'll play a game of how many times has James fallen on his ass during the game? Yeah, yeah. Probably <laughs> plenty, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right then, my friend. So, who is your team? Who do you support? That's about Leeds United. Another one. Yeah. Then that's about the fourth one in a row now. Yeah, I take it you've been to Elland Road. Yeah, been to Elland Road many times. Okay. Yeah. What What do you like about Elland Road? Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's good ground. Yeah, great atmosphere. Best Sweet. Best in the. Uh, Premier League for yeah. home, home atmosphere. Yeah. I mean, I it like is it. I mean, I must admit, I've only ever been to Allen Road a couple of times, but the atmosphere just blows you away. Oh, definitely. The, you can't argue, Leeds United are probably some of the most passionate supporters I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah. It's a difference what you get in Premier League most of the time, isn't it? Yeah. Indeed. Old school atmosphere. Yeah. yeah. Very, very passionate. Yeah. Right then, so best game that you've seen at Allen Road? Uh, there's a few, but none stick out, to be fair. Uh, mm, Maybe Spurs when we beat them 2 0, and then McCormack scored that worldy goal in the top corner. That was a few years ago. That's the only one that's sticking out in my mind. That's fair enough. So, yeah. I'm going to go for, I don't know if you know what I'm talking about there, but. I do indeed. Yeah. I do indeed, yes. I do remember Boss McCormack. He's a, yeah, a great player. Good player, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right then, so, you've played at Rangers a couple of times now. Yeah. Of all the players that you've played with, at uh, this club, who do you enjoy playing with the most, or who have you enjoyed playing with the most? Um, I'd say Rob Holiday is up there. To be fair, yes, yeah, yeah. very good. Always player. seems to find me in the right positions. If uh, so, yeah, I'd say he's up there. Um, yeah, Dubs probably Milky. Yeah. Very good players. Yeah, yeah. probably say them. Yeah. Now, of course. There's a brotherly thing here, isn't there? Because obviously Dan as well played for you. What is it like in some respects playing with your brother? Is it one of those things where you obviously wish him well or...? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I wish him well, to be fair. Um, yeah, I've played against him a few times, but <laughs> uh, played him last when we played... We're not playing for Weatherby down here, but it's yeah. a bit weird to play against him. But I haven't really played with him until I came back down here. So, yeah, it's good. Fair enough. Yeah. Right, then, let's ask the question that's uh, dividing people at the moment. Messi or Ronaldo, who is your goat? Um, <laughs> well, I, lo I love them both, to be honest. I have this argument with my brother a lot about Ronaldo and Messi, <laughs> but he says Ronaldo's finished, I'm all for him. He's, he's, he's still top draw, in my opinion, but I'd probably say Messi, if I had to say, but I love Ronaldo as well. Right, go on <laughs> Going to push you, mate. Why Messi? Uh, just because he's, he's just watching play. He's just... Got God given talent, do you, know, do you know what I mean? There's no one like him. No, it just really. loses, doesn't it, from him? Yeah, you can't, yeah. But, yeah, he's different to Ronaldo and he's just he's top viewer. He is, yeah. he is. You've heard it, James says Messi. Yeah, I'm going to go Messi. Right then, my friend, have an absolutely boating game today. Yeah. All the best. Yeah. Cheers, buddy.
Okay, so I am with Phil Turner at the beginning of the game. Go on then, Phil. So what do you reckon to this one? It's going to be a tricky match. Uh, yeah, um, they're, uh, you know, they're, apparently they're fourth in the league. So, you know, on paper, it's a very tough game. I uh, don't know how many games they've played. You know, we've played quite a few. So, you know, we're probably where we should be at the moment. Mm. So, I don't know. We need, we need a win today, definitely. It's achievable though, isn't it? I mean, they've not come, in, they've come into the match in not the greatest of form. So if we can battle hard and play well. Yeah, I mean, we've, you know, we've, we won against Aberford. We played probably better against Otley than we did in the game before. <laughs> you know, unfortunate to lose that one. You know, we've been playing so well recently. So, you know, I, and we've got a good team out today. So every chance we can get three points. Go on, then. so I'm going to put you on the spot, my friend. So score prediction. Ah... Uh... A little 2 0, clean sheet. I think we've deserved a clean sheet. Yes. We've let in a couple of sloppy goals that, you know, haven't really been deserved, I don't think. So, yeah, nice clean sheet, couple of goals. Be nice to have a game where there's not a last minute penalty as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we don't talk about them. Indeed. <laughs> Cheers, my friend. Cheers. Quick score prediction. Uh, two nil. Scores? Me and Liam. Love it. And so we literally missed before the match, the weather's changed, it's now hailstoning. You've got to love Yorkshire, you really do. And on the whatever day, God invented football and it was glorious. That's right, we're actually winning 3 0 at half time to uh, Rangers' second team. Two superb goals from uh, Jack Holiday and a great goal as well from uh, James Flynn. To be fair, there's been some real quality on display from the lads. So we go in at uh, half time very, very happy. Hopefully, at full time, we'll be equally as happy. See you all then.
Oh, so it did turn out to be glorious. We won 4-2. We made life difficult for ourselves. So in that second half, it got it back to 3-2. Uh, but we kept on plugging away and then we started to play our game again and substitute Matthew Lurkuk with an absolute striker's finish. Well done. Young lad as well scoring, so that's always a good see. Well done, boys. But don't do that next time. Just make it easier. We're assistant manager, JP. 14, but we didn't have to put ourselves through the ringer. Yeah, I think the heart's <laughs> just, uh, just about calmed down now. Um, Game of two halves, I suppose, really. I mean, the second half was like a game of two halves. Definitely. The first half, I said it to them at half time, and I said to them before, I want them to attack, I want them to be direct, I want them to be confident, I want them to dictate the way the game is going to be played today, and they did it and more. Like, I couldn't fault a single player in that first half. Yeah. It's honestly, hand on heart, one of the best performances I've seen in possibly Definitely. years. Definitely. I was so impressed. Um, second half, I think they were always going to come out fighting. Yes. And I, and I said that to them as well at half time, but. Hunter aren't a bad football team. We just didn't let them play in the first half. And unfortunately, I think they came out a little bit more hungrier. We might have thought the job was done a little bit. Mm. And, um, you know, they proved it. They got two good goals and they put us under a lot of pressure. Kieran, Kieran made some great saves and kept us in it. We needed that fourth goal. Yes, definitely. Thankfully, it definitely. came. And from our uh, young substitute as well, another youngster scoring. Superb. I, I was really impressed with both subs today. Yeah. I think, um, you know, it's not so much on us. I think we just sort of, you can see it from the sidelines sometimes when you need a little bit more energy where, I think when the lads are running at 100% and trying to give every single thing they can, it's hard at this level to play for 90 minutes. Yeah. And I think, you know, we made two subs um, at the right time. Matt came on, Matt Trower did well. And then Matt Lerner came on straight away, got into the right area. First touch goal. Indeed. We said that at the half time, you and I had a little conversation. We said they're playing for one another. And over the last few weeks, we've really seen them start to gel. 100%. And I said that to them. They deserve this result today and they deserve this type of game because they've worked so hard and they've deserved more at time. You know, Otley was a difficult one. Maybe that comes down to a bit of composure. Mm. Um, and we saw that today. I think, you know, we're a team that if things go well in the first five, ten minutes, we push on and we really do. And that played for us today. Obviously, we've got an early goal. But they're just hungry from the word go. The warm up was superb, the attitude was right. And as you said, they were backing each other up. High five in after a tackle and a yeah. slide tackle. I love seeing that. It's brilliant. You know, it's not just about goals, it's about the work rate and desire. And as Maka likes to say, you know, it's the, it's the rubbish work that, you know, not everyone always likes to enjoy <laughs> doing. I think he used to apply it a word. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, what was, one of the things I wanted to say as well was are we kidnapping Jack Holiday and keeping him here? Yes. You can't go back to university. Yeah, he now. lives with me now. Yeah. Marvellous. That's what he wanted to hear. <laughs> well done, my friend. Cheers, Brilliant pal. result. So I'm with the hero of the match, it has to be said, uh, Jack Holiday. You are not going back to university, we are keeping you here. What do you think of that game? Oh, well, strong performance in the lad in the first half. I mean, first 45 minutes, as the manager said, we were unplayable, really. Um, just hunting, hunting in packs, hunting in ones, everyone was doing their bit. So, last 25 minutes as well, we followed in the same fashion. We had a bit of a blip for 20 minutes, conceded two goals, but yeah, fantastic, really. And two goals for you again. I mean, you've got yeah. to be pleased with your return so far. You've come back, and I think that's about what yeah, six, uh, six hundred now. Six in two, so not too bad. But as long as the team's winning, I'm not bothered. So, what do you think to the quality of the play? Because as I was saying to JP, we really seem to be gelling, really fighting for one each other now. Yeah, I think it's coming to the end of the season, isn't it? And everyone's wanting to stay in the league. So you can really tell with the lads that everyone's fighting for each other nowadays. So it's it's really important that we're doing it. And the great thing about those three points as well is it's a bit more of a safety net, which is yeah. obviously what we need. Yeah, well, to play fourth in the league and come back with three points, you, you're laughing really, aren't you? So. so now we travel over to Boroughbridge, but the confidence has got to be high. Yeah, well, I'm I'm staying up as well for Monday night, so we'll be here, we'll be here. Brilliant, well done, my friend. Yeah.